Multiverse Gaming, Shaka Zulu. What is up, guys? We just came back from a Pokemon pre release and uh, we went 4 0. Uh, it was unexpected, but I mean, we kind of expected it. We didn't get the Steel Deck, but uh, let's get into it. So, starting out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just say that I, you know, I won uh, nine packs for uh, sorry for winning. So that's it right there. Uh, go ahead and slide this to the side, like my little pin right there. Thank you guys. Uh, if you do like it, you know, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this set up. So, starting out, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the monsters I played. So, I played one Giratina Prism, which I pulled. Uh, you know, obviously. I played one Rangu Ruin. I butchered that name, but it's okay. I played... Try to get these one ofs off real quick. Let's get this done. Yeah, I think that's all of the one ofs. So I attempted to basically, like, the, these are just the one ofs. Everything else is an evolution. So my attempt was to cut down on anything that I wasn't going to be able to play. And the only things that I was going to be able to play were this, this, or the other basic Pokemon that I was using. Which came in the basic part of the structure deck thing, that, you know? Little thing that they give you. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. So, uh, these three Gibble, uh, this one right here with the Ascension. Uh, search your deck for a card that evolves to this Pokemon and... Put it onto this Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. Uh, Gibble is broken. Uh, three given were gib three Gibble were given to me, and I got an extra one. Uh, this one, if this one has a Fighting Energy attached to it, it has no Retreat cost. So I ended up playing three Gibble. Uh, that was a lot, but that ended up being the very much trump card for. A lot of my games. Uh, being able to pull out one of these, turn one, turn two, like, that was basically my winning factor. And then, you know, with the good bulls, we played Goodbye with, again, Ascension to do the same thing and then Slash. So we played two Goodbites, I believe. Yeah. Two good bites. So two good bites came with it. So we played two good bites. And then we also played a Garchomp. Which, you know, everybody knows. This attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weaknesses or resistances. And then if you played Cynthia from your hand during this turn, this attack does 100 more damage. So you can do a nice little 200. Uh, that was very much the OP part of this deck. Uh, I also played... Young Shoes. Um, Young Shoes was nice. Uh, his effects are kind of irrelevant because we didn't really use it. But we ended up getting the one Gum Shoes there. And we ended up getting this Gum Shoes. Uh, both of the Gum Shoes are the same. But this Identify. This Identify was really good because not one but two of my opponents had basically stage two evolutions in their hand and never got their stage ones and so this card like they would take down the when my guard top went down this guy came out and just said oh i'm coming to town and just would start wrecking so that's what was basically the trump cards uh 
Giratina did come out uh, twice and end up taking two knockouts. Uh, I don't know if it, you know everybody knows this, but you play with four prize cards, so you know using this once was okay. Uh, that's it for the Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show the energy count just because that's a little bit more easy and I can explain it a little bit better. Alright, so we had four psychic energy, or five, I'm sorry. Yeah, five. Uh, the reason why was because Prism Giratina is when you play this Pokemon from your hand during onto your bench during your turn, you may attach two energy cards to it. So, you know, when you play it and you have three psychic energy in your hand, you play two, drop the third, next turn he's ready. It's pretty broken, but I mean, it would be even more broken if, you know, we could have more of these, but, you know, due to it being a prism card, uh, you cannot have more than one of these cards in your deck. And then when it's gone, it goes to the lost zone. So, that's nice real nice and then we also played eight fighting energy oh I got off screen sorry eight fighting energy uh, the fighting energy was to basically make sure that I could first turn ascension every turn and just keep going ascension and ascension and ascension so uh, that was the reason why uh, I did end up using you know other effects but let's go with the supporters so yes I had one Cynthia uh, they gave you one uh, if I had another one it probably would have been pretty much broken but we had the one Cynthia we had Mars which I kind of like like a lot. We had the Kakui, which came out to win us one of the duels. And then we had two lookers. Uh, a lot of people were very, felt very odd about drawing three cards from the bottom of their deck. Uh, we had a Volkner, a uh, search for an item card, and a lightning energy and reveal them or electric energy put them into your hand and then shuffle your deck and then we had so so soft i'm gonna butcher the name you guys know how to spell it i don't so i'm gonna let you guys do it discard two cards from your hand if you do draw four cards all right and then we had for our items we have great ball Paul Pat, shuffle two supporters from your discard pile into the deck. We played two of those. And then we had two nest balls. And then order pad. Flip a coin if head, search your deck for an item, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. So, uh, those were the supporters. Uh, because I had two lookers, I ended up playing a Ranguru. Uh, this helped me out in my final match. So uh, basically he killed my Gabite before I could even do anything and uh, or before I could put a Garchomp on it. And so I put this out and stalled his uh, is it called it's the I forgot what he was using but anyways I stole his steel Pokemon that did 30 damage and then had resistance for 30 damage uh, on its turn uh, basically ended up this took four hits because uh, it was at 120 and I was able to make another guard chomp and the other guard chomp was able to go onto the board do damage and then I was able to pull the Garchomp back and then use uh, use Giratina to go ahead and use Crisis Drive 
on his guy for the final knockout. And that got me the game. So, uh, that's how this went. Uh, this video took a little bit longer than I thought it was. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this right here. And do another one for the back Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I will try to do better in the future with videos like this one. And thank you.